All right, let's look at an example. Now I've repeated the equations here. All right, so x bar and y bar, the location of centroid or center of gravity. All right, they're the same thing if this rigid body is made out of homogeneous material. Okay. And by the way, numerator of uh, of each equation is called the first moment. All right, in particular, this guy right here. It's called the first moment of the area A about the y-axis, right? Y-axis, but x tilde. Similarly, this guy right here is called the first moment of the area A about the x-axis. Okay, it's just you know, terminology. Let's look at a simple example, and this is probably the simplest example I can get. Right? A rectangle. Now, some experience. You know exactly what centroid is. Okay, it's just the middle. But let's prove it. Okay, using these equations. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do before you start writing down an equation is you should define the coordinate system. Right? Where do you want to put the the origin? Right? Now this is x and y, so obviously you want to define x and y axis somewhere. Okay? You can place it anywhere you like. Anywhere. Okay? And your final answer, x bar and y bar, okay, will be unique to where you define your coordinate system. Okay? So let's say if I define my coordinate system this way. This is my x axis. This is my y-axis, which means that the origin is right here, the zero, zero point. Then my answer, x bar and y bar, will be relative to this origin right here. Okay. Now, if you define, let's say, the origin here, right, so x-axis and y-axis up here, so the answer, x bar and y bar, will be different right, from this corner system, obviously. Right, so it would be, you know, both numbers would be negative value. Right, so <clears throat> first define your coordinates. Okay. And next, now this is well, a common shape, right? So I know the, uh, the height and width. Let's say the width. We call it x one. And the height is y1, right? So they're both constant. Okay? I don't want to put in numbers here because I want to keep it general. Okay? So with these two defined, well, again, from, from experience, you know where the, uh, the center of gravity is or central is, right? So the x bar should be one half of x1, and y bar should be one half of y1. Well, let's prove it. Now, these three equations right here involve integral with respect to area, dA. Okay? Now, dA has to be rewritten in terms of dx and dy because now there's our coordinate system, right? So this, we have split this area into x and y axis, x and y components. Now, to perform this integration, really there are three ways to do this. The first method is that you can split this area into a tiny area like this. Okay? And then just do the integration in each direction. So this dA right here becomes actually double integration. Let's say this guy, yeah, just for x bar. So it becomes x tilde, dA now becomes dx dy. Okay? So you do the integration, the inner integration first, over dx, so some 
everything in the x direction, and then you do it in the y direction. And that's perfectly okay. The second way to do this you define a strip of element. Okay? An elemental strip. Okay? Like this. And then you sweep it. You sweep it up and down. Okay? Let's say from this location all the way up. Okay? As long as you cover the entire area, then you're okay. So this can become so x tilde, right? So you know this uh, this width now is exactly x one, okay? And then the height of this element right here, right? Where the centroid of this element is exactly y axis. Alright, so now this becomes uh, x bar, and then dA, or the area of this little strip right here, right, would be this width, x1, times this little height of this element of strip, and this little height is y. Right? So dA becomes x1 dy. Okay. So, And then, you know, you can just um, keep simplifying further, all right? So, um, so this x1 right here, right, is a constant, right? You can just take it out, okay? And then this x tilde, right, which is the coordinate, the x coordinate, of the centroid of this elemental strip, which is down the middle. Okay. So this is x tilde, and x tilde is one half of x one. Right? So one half of the entire width. Right? So you can just replace it in here. Okay. The third way to do this, okay, which is what I'm gonna do here, is okay, let's do it here. Right, so the third way right, is I'm going to define a vertical strip. Okay. And then sweep it from x equals 0 location all the way to x equals x1 location. Now this way I cover the entire area and I'm okay. okay. So, so my x bar equals. Uh, let me write down the, the entire equation. Okay. So now I need to replace this dA with something. dA, which is the elemental area of the strip right here, which is this width, which is dx times height. Height of this strip is exactly y1. Okay. And x tilde, right, which is the centroid of this elemental strip, right? Again, tilde means the element, okay? Uh, this little strip is my element. And the centroid of this guy is right in the middle. Okay. So, the x tilde Is this distance right here, and since this is a measure from zero, x equals zero location, to this location, so this is simply x. Okay, so my x tilde is my x coordinate. Right? What a y tilde. This is my y tilde, y coordinate of the centroid of the element strip equals 
Well, again, this is measured from the zero location all the way up, and this is exactly half of y1. So, one half, one half. Now we're ready to replace this dA, right, x tilde dA, with something else. x tilde is x. dA is y1 dx. Area okay, equals y1 times right, little dA okay, divided by area, area of the whole thing, okay, which is x1 times y1. Keep going. y1 is a constant, so take it out. y1, what's left? x dx by x1, y1. Okay? Now this integral, okay, you integrate from the lower limit to higher limit okay, of the x axis, right? Because you're integrating with respect to x. And where do you integrate from? Well, from zero. Because right? you're trying to sweep this strip from zero location all the way to x1 location. So, 0 to x1. Alright, so now, look at this. Cancel out. Now, this is very, very simple integration. All right. So, 1 half x squared, 0 to x1, divided by x1, equals, we place it in here, so we have 1 half x1 squared divided by x1. Look at that. That's my answer. 1 half x1. There you have it. This is my x bar. And do exactly the same thing for y bar. Alright, so a, so a equals blah blah blah. This exactly equals to 1 half y1. This, this is the answer. So half of this, which is right here, and half of the y, this is my g.